In this video, what I'd like to do is extend the work I did in a previous video where I was drawing circles with a mouse click. And in that last video, when I did a right mouse click, all of my circles went away. This time, I'm going to be able to selectively pick the circle that I want to disappear. I want to start with the code that I started with last time or I ended with last time. And in that code, I had all these circles that I created and I added them to a list. And when I right click, they all went away. What I want to do this time is modify this. So if I click in this circle, that's the only circle that goes away. So how do I do this? Well, first, I'm going to get rid of these print statements just because it's going to clean it up just a little bit. It's going to make it easier to debug. I'm also going to need to get rid of this circles clear. The logic needs to change a little bit. I'm going to have to check mouse click, and this is its X and Y variables, against all circles. If there is a match, so meaning I clicked in a circle, I want to delete that particular circle. All right, how do I do this? First, let's iterate, let's see how I save this. I save this in this array called circles, or this list called circles. So I can say for circle in circles, and circle should have a X and a Y value. So I wanna say if X, is less than circle of zero, which is the X value, plus radius. So I need to define radius. I'm gonna say radius is equal to 10 because that's what I drew it as this circle. So plus this radius and X is greater than circle of zero minus the radius. So I have a, a X and I look at, is it between these two values? And then I have to do the same for y. If y is less than circle of 1 plus radius and y is greater than circle of 1 minus the radius, then all right now I want to do is I want to print something that says in circle. Let's try this. And if I'm not in a circle, it's not going to print anything. So I'm going to create two circles and I'm going to start clicking and I'm clicking around the circle, and I don't get anything. Now when I go to the actual circle, when I click, I get, and I'm clicking multiple times, I get in a circle. Over here, I get in a circle. So it's working. It's detecting if I'm in a circle. Next, what do I need to do? I need to actually know part what circle I am. There's a lot of ways to delete this. I'm actually going to modify this. I'm going to say I'm going to have an index for index circle in enumerate circles. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna give me the index that that particular circle uh, works at. So right here, I'm going to say, all right, now um, I'm going to have, let's delete circles of this index. And now I want to print circles. And if I make a couple of these, first time it's not gonna print anything, but I should have four things in my index. Now I have three, now I have two. Now this is, if I keep clicking here, it doesn't exist anymore, it's just not re-rendering. So now I have one, now I have zero. And when I, right now, that, that condition right now is met if length of circles is zero, then I just re, uh, reinitialize. Okay, so I need to force this to reinitialize right away. And the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to say, I'm gonna create this global variable. And this global variable I'm going to just have is called redraw image. And I'm going to set redraw image as false. So if this happens, and I want to get rid of this print statement, I'm going to say redraw image is going to be true. And this, if length of circles is zero, or redraw 
image is true, then I want to actually redraw that image. And then I want to redraw image is equal to false. And let's see. Uh, the other thing I want to do is I want to immediately, I want to break. Oh, global redraw image. So now let's try this. If I create a circle here and I click inside, that circle goes away. If I click inside here, that circle goes away. So I can keep adding more circles and I can selectively choose which circle I want to go away. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel so my content can reach a wider audience.